Hello guys, my name is Joseph Connor and welcome to JC Design. Let's run the intro. So how's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a kaleidoscope using stock footage in After Effects. Uh, I decided to make this tutorial because of COVID-19, the world has kind of gone crazy and everybody seems stressed and fearful of the future. Uh, also a lot of people have lost their jobs and uh, it's just not a good time for people. So I thought I'd make something that could like maybe relax people, chill people out. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open After Effects. I've already opened After Effects here. What we want to do is uh, import our uh, footage. So we go File, Import, File. And then find wherever your footage is saved. Mine's just saved to the desktop. And your footage should come into the left-hand window here. And the next thing you want to do is you can either pull it across onto the composition window or you can pull it down to this little icon here. I just prefer to pull it down to the icon. It's easy. So once your footage is in, in After Effects, the next thing we need to do is go over to Effects and Presets and then type in Mirror. And the effect Mirror should come up. Uh, just drag and drop that onto your footage. And hey presto, nothing happens. That's because we need to put some numbers into this and tell it what to do. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to Reflection Angle and just go to this number and put in 90 and see what that looks like. Um, so yeah, it's already sort of looking like a kaleidoscope. So we need to do something with the other side. Uh, let us just play this and see what it looks like. That looks pretty cool. Um, also, while I'm here, I'll just change my timeline to 20 frames uh, by hitting N. And then let's go back up to the mirror effect. Uh, right click on the mirror effect and click on mirror. And then you'll get another mirror effect. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on reflection center. Uh, basically what this is going to do is we're going to try and reflect the other side. Uh, so we click on the little crosshair here and by default it'll come in on the right hand side. I usually like to do this by eye but you can just do it by the numbers if you feel like you want to do that. Uh, the way that you can do that by the numbers is if you click on your 1920 and then just uh, forward slash and hit 2 it should go into the center. Uh, like so, but I usually do by eye. I've just showed you how to do it by numbers. <laughs> um, so now we've kind of sort of got a kaleidoscope going on here. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on. That's pretty cool. Uh, pretty happy with that. Um, but I want to make it looping. So the way that we're going to make it looping is if you take your little timeline pointer to, let's say, 10 seconds, halfway in between 20. And then if you hit Command Shift D, uh, this will split the layer in half by duplicating it and then splitting each layer, uh, as you can see here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this one and then duplicate this one again by hitting command and D. So basically all I've done is deleted the first, uh, I've duplicated the first 10 seconds and gotten rid of the rest. And by hitting the back bracket, uh, this layer will jump to the other side of the timeline uh, pointer. And let's see what this looks like. So this isn't going to be looping, but I just want to see what it looks like when it um, goes across the cut. But already that looks pretty cool. So the way that we'll make this looping is we will right click on the footage layer here and then go up to time and then time reverse layer. And you'll see that a little blue bar comes underneath the footage here. That means it's basically reversing. Um, so let's just play it from here and see what it looks like. So it goes out and then back in. So yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. 
so that's pretty much it for today's guys uh it's a pretty quick tutorial today um i hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful uh here's some of the examples that i created using stock footage Thanks for making it this far and if you liked the video please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more videos like this every week.